All right, here are the program still this morning on ITV. Now, the issue of COVID-19 in Nigeria is still ongoing. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, COVID-19 is still in states of uh, the country. And of course, uh, I remember some time ago, we, uh, it was a daily uh, thing that uh, people uh, would Google into the NCDC uh, portal uh, to get uh, uh, the updates of uh, COVID-19. But somehow, a lot of people seem to have forgotten that now. Uh, you asked me the reason, I don't know why. And I think uh, that is uh, perhaps also one of the reasons why people have thrown caution to uh, the winds, uh, you know, with different beliefs that perhaps the COVID-19 does not exist. Now, we need to emphasize to you, that's what we do at uh, independent uh, radio and television. We always emphasize issues. Uh, COVID-19 is real. You must know that it is real. It is in a dose state. It is in Benin City. And of course, it may just be right there where you are. So you need to ensure that you still keep with the non-pharmaceutical protocols uh, so that you don't uh, get yourself infected with COVID-19. Now, as it stands now, the NCDC portal for today, that's uh, today being Wednesday, the 25th day of uh, August 2021, we have uh, confirmed cases. Uh, it stands at 188,243. Then for active cases, it stands at 16,927. For discharge cases, 169,035. And of course, for, date, for deaths in the country, that's in Nigeria, it stands at 2,281. Then for samples uh, tested to get all these results, uh, we have the record as 2,727,000 and of course, 800. And uh, 34. Then, of course, you can narrow it down to states ac across the country. You have Lagos states, you have uh, FCT, and uh, for Edo state, which is always my concern, uh, for Edo state, we have confirmed uh, cases to stand at, uh, which stands at 5,150. Uh, then, for those in admission in Edo state, we have 140. Uh, for discharge cases, cases in Edo state, we have 4,000. Uh, 820. Then for deaths so far in Edo State, we have uh, 190. I think that's a good one because if you compare it to some other states, uh, the results for other states is very alarming. For Lagos, for example, we have 471. Uh, so for Edo State, we have uh, uh, just about 190. Now we've got Mr. Ikwamusa Osamede here, who is a member of uh, the Edo State uh, COVID-19 uh, communication risk committee and of course uh, we're going to be talking about COVID-19 one more time and also to talk about uh, what state governments across the country uh, you know are planning to do uh, saying that particularly in Edo state we understand from the second week of September uh, if you don't show your COVID-19 test then of course you may not be allowed to public life in other words COVID-19 vaccination as a prerequisite for uh, public life Mr. Ike, you welcome to this program today. Thank you very much You're for welcome. having me. Good right. morning to our viewers at home. All right. Now, the issue of COVID-19 is still ongoing. People still not turning out for uh, vaccination. And uh, the non-pharmaceutical protocol is still something that government of the day is still having a big challenge in letting people uh, to accept and practice it. What do you think is responsible for this? Okay. Uh, first and foremost, I think we have to commend uh, the a structure put in place by the Edo State Government, uh, led by His Excellency uh, Governor Godwin Ogegase or Baseki. Yeah, let's talk about it in Nigeria first, the, before we narrow it down to Edo State. Yes, you know, the country is made up of sub-national governments, and those sub-national governments, like the states, yeah. are the ones responsible for uh, the uh, COVID-19 pandemic in their various uh, states. Okay. So, uh, as we speak, Edo State is one of the uh, leading state when it comes to uh, the interventions being put in place to uh, manage the pandemic. Even recently, the NCDC uh, 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 has said that the state has some of the best facilities uh, in the country when it comes to managing uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And of course, uh, we have to commend the uh, even ITV because although a lot of persons have taken uh, uh, the NPI is not too seriously because they feel COVID-19 is not real. But ITV always puts that information out there to tell the people uh, it do like that COVID-19 is real because just before the program, we also heard that informa um, uh, information that says that COVID-19 is real and they should uh, 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 wear their face mask and use all the other uh, non-pharmaceutical interventions. So that has been ongoing, but as a step, uh, uh, as a, as a for that step, the governor has also partnered 
with uh, religious uh, bodies and even traditional rulers uh, in those states All right. in order the to bring people not, message People not keeping the with people. the non-pharmaceutical protocols. Yes. Uh, what do you think is responsible for it? Yes, it's, it's simply because of the fact that a lot of persons believe that COVID-19 is not real. But then the numbers that we keep on reeling, you just uh, I reeled out some numbers. For example, in Edo State, we recorded uh, four deaths in this uh, third wave of uh, COVID-19. And if you add that to the uh, total number of deaths we recorded since uh, 2020, uh, uh, that was last year, it amounts to 190 people who have died from COVID-19 in Edo State. And those are not just figures, okay? Those are our loved ones, those are our friends, our neighbors who have died and probably people don't know what killed them. Okay, they will say, oh, it's after a brief illness. But uh, our, our doctors have confirmed that those persons actually died because of COVID-19 uh, uh, related morbidities. So it simply shows that our people uh, uh, are dying because of the fact that they are not adhering to the uh, non-pharmaceutical interventions, which involves wearing a face mask and then the social distancing and of course using uh, the hand sanitizers. And, and the reason I say we have to commend the Edo State government is because as we speak, uh, Nigeria has received uh, the second batch of uh, COVID-19 vaccines. And out of the 36 states, about eight have not been able to receive theirs. In other words, those persons in their state would not have the opportunity of uh, uh, taking the vaccines because they do not have the facilities on ground to be able to receive uh, at, at the COVID-19 vaccines, but in those states received has the second batch just uh, uh, during the weekend. So that shows that we have a lot of uh, great facilities that are in good shape to handle these um, vaccines. Uh, we have uh, AstraZeneca, the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which was the first tranche that we received uh, uh, this year. We also, we also received the second uh, brand, which is the Moderna uh, vaccine. And of course, it is free. It is effective. So. The message we are putting out there is that Edo Lights should take uh, uh, the, this opportunity to be vaccinated because it gives uh, protection from COVID-19 uh, uh, morbidities. In fact, the latest data, because Edo State, we are following the data, we are following the, uh, the science. As we speak, about 96% of those persons who are currently hospitalized, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. in Edo State, are those persons who have been unvaccinated, while about... On, 100% of those persons who have died from uh, COVID-19 in Edo State in this third wave are those persons who never received their Okay, vaccines. now before we talk about uh, the uh, main issue, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, as a vac that vaccination is going to be a prerequisite uh, for public life any moment from now. Now, uh, the issue of vaccination for most people is still a mirage. I mean, only yesterday we heard that uh, Mike Okri, a renowned uh, entertainer, you know, outside the country for quite some time now, uh, said he has completed his vaccination okay. only for him to be down with COVID-19. And perhaps that's also the story here. Uh, people took their first job or the second job. In other words, they've completed their dose and uh, they still contract and contact uh, this COVID-19. Uh, so it's yes. vaccination. Uh, vaccination is, does it work? Is it working? Yes, it is 100% effective. Uh, Nigeria, we have the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which is uh, close to 90% effective. And of course, the Moderna vaccine, which is also about 95% effective. So what that means is that once a person is vaccinated, of course, it gives that person immunity. What it simply means is that if that person even contracts, it doesn't mean the person won't be able to contract the COVID-19 uh, virus. Okay. But the person won't come down with any illness, mm. any serious illness that would require hospitalization in the various uh, uh, facilities. So that is what it provides uh, citizens. It enables the person to be able to be immune, Im immune to that uh, COVID-19 uh, virus. In other words, the person won't come down with any serious mobility or even uh, mortality from the virus. So, and of course, if a person is vaccinated at the first instance, the person has to complete it at, about, at the right time, which is about eight weeks after the first jab which is called the uh, second shot or the booster uh, dose. Only when a person has been completely vaccinated, which is the uh, two shots, would the person be able to say he or she has been uh, 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 fully protected from COVID-19. So persons who probably come down from uh, uh, with COVID-19 are those persons who have never completed their COVID-19 uh, vaccination. So, and of course, when a person is vaccinated, there are two ways a person could 
uh, be immune to mm -hmm. the COVID-19 uh, virus. Of course, the first is if the person has contracted uh, COVID-19 in the first place, the person would be immune. And the, of course, if the person survives it, okay, the person will be immune whenever it contracts it again. It will not be able to come down with any serious uh, 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 illness. While the second category are those persons who have been vaccinated, they are immune. And of course, what the Edo State government is trying to achieve is what is called the herd immunity. When at least more than 90% uh, uh, of the population is immune or have been immunized or vaccinated with uh, uh, the COVID-19 uh, vaccines, the entire population, uh, so to speak, is protected okay. because the transmission rate of the COVID-19 virus would be uh, minimal. So that is what governments around the world is trying to achieve with the vaccination. Okay, I I'm still going to ask you about the Adjusted Government one more time because uh, the state government has said uh, that uh, from the second week of September, uh, that uh, people may have to show their COVID-19 status. In other words, status of their vaccination uh, for them to enjoy public life. Now, when we say public life, we're talking about access to public facilities uh, such as banks, uh, ministries, parastatas, office premises, and uh, even school. Now, though, I would have asked you what the state governor uh, intends to achieve with this, but you said that the state governor uh, wants to achieve a head uh, I mean, vaccinations yes, uh, exactly. in the way that at least 90 percent of the population uh, may be vaccinated but again uh, some persons may begin to see it a different way around that uh, the issue of vaccination is purely uh, a free will thing because i remember when uh, the whole exercise started government told us that look it is at your liberty okay. so right now it seems government is still uh, you know making people to go into it is that not uh, yes. Uh, thank you very much, Evans, for that question. Uh, yes, at the first instance, governments around the world said the vaccination is going to be optional, it's going to be out of people's volition. But, of course, the COVID-19 pandemic is a novel uh, a, a, a pandemic. A virus. Okay, yeah. it's, a no, it's a novel virus, meaning it is something that is still undergoing a lot of studies. And right now, the studies that is available to uh, 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 those state governments is that those persons who are not vaccinated are the reason why a uh, 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 majority of the citizens are falling ill or those persons who are hospitalized are dying. So what it simply means is that uh, those persons who are not vaccinated are putting other persons' lives at risk. And that is what international governments have come to recognize. And of course, there are other countries who are already doing the same. For example, some states in the United States have equally adopted that COVID-19 pass which simply says that if you've not been vaccinated, then you should probably just remain at home and not endanger other persons when you go to any public building. But, but the, the like reports uh, well, this morning suggest... Yeah, a report this morning suggests uh, that uh, the U.S. government, a Supreme Court, as a matter of fact, in the U.S., uh, just ruled this morning uh, that uh, the issue of universal vaccination uh, you know, should be stopped. So, so I don't know how we begin to look at all that now. Yes, the you know, in uh, when we talk about human rights, mm. okay, because it boils down to human rights at the end of the day. When we talk about human rights, we are very much aware that uh, wherever my rights uh, are, are, are stopped stops is where yours begin. Begins. So I would not say, oh, let's say for example, I have freedom of movement, or of course the freedom to move, and then I would say I'll go to your house in the middle of the night because I want to. Uh, exercise my freedom of movement so it stops just where yours begins so if i am unvaccinated in other words i prove a risk to you to your health then i should not endanger your life because obviously that would almost amount to uh, a murder so to speak so that is why governments are making sure advising people that see if you are not vaccinated ensure you have that safe distance uh, between yourself and the next person and of course if you are not vaccinated there's no reason why oh, you should avoid go the to, public yes avoid the public there's no reason why you should be putting uh, uh other person at in risk yes at risk mm. or in danger just because you want to exercise your own uh, 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 uh freedom mm. and that is the reason why this law is coming this regulation is coming from a state government it's not coming from a place of oh it, it, the government wants to incur hardship on the people it is coming from a place of compassion because the government wants to see our uh, people uh, 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 healthy and being able to achieve their life goals so the 
nobody will be able to achieve these our life goals if they are not uh, now alive. how feasible would that be i mean looking at the amount of uh, people that we're going to be dealing with yes. uh, the population of people that accepts uh, public uh, building public facilities yes. uh, every day uh, does it mean uh, is yes, the state government going to be uh, enforcing it, is, it, is, it? it yes it is achievable and of course the other states uh, governor said uh, there's already modalities that have been worked with the security uh, 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 forces mm. in those states that would enforce this uh, rule. Of course, there's all the, the enforcement is already ongoing in even some of these banks, okay, some of these public places, because there's a rule that says if you are if you are not wearing your face mask, you won't be able to enter the bank. So just that level of enforcement is what is going to so this time it's not going to be the face mask it, it, it yes. has to be your card your yes. vaccination card yes. that your you vaccination, have to show yes before you'll be, be allowed giving, yes if you be giving even your first dose of the vaccine there's a card i would have brought mine here uh, it's green okay it's internationally recognized mm. so once you have been vaccinated even if it's the first dose you are giving that card that would allow you what to about if to... i use your card can't i take your own card and please uh ik i need to go to minister of women affairs tomorrow can i use your card just for a well, pass the card is uh personalized because it bears the holder's name so if you are evans you probably won't be able to use Osamedi's. i can claim to be evans but i then, can claim to be ik <laughs> but then that, that would be uh, 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 uh that, that would not be right because okay. of course your id with you would uh, approve that role. Uh, okay, yes. the reason why I'm asking this question yes. because I understand that on the card uh, there's a microchip on exactly. the card. Exactly, a barcode. Now, a, a yeah. barcode. That yes. barcode, you slot into a certain system, yes. it confirms all your, your identity. identity. Exactly. So are we going to have a situation whereby uh, this person's enforcing uh, this directive are going to go around with these gadgets? Yes, um, that is only in the extreme case okay. where people uh, just want to flout uh, the regulation because this regulation is only to protect lives is not to uh, cause hardship on mm -hmm. people because for example if you go to banking halls you go to churches uh, uh, most of the persons they are elderly people and those are people who are most at risk who die uh, because of this uh, uh, non uh, the fact that they contracted uh, COVID-19 COVID so it simply means if you are vaccinated if you go for your vaccination which is available in any of the primary health care centers in the 18 local government area of a do state you would be your brother's keeper uh, in that respect, okay? Because you would not be causing uh, uh, harm to your brother. So that is the message that we are preaching. No, okay. And of course, the second phase has been flagged off just on Monday by mm -hmm. the governor of Edo State. Mm -hmm. So what that means is that the vaccine is available in any of the uh, tertiary health institutions in Edo State and also in the primary health care centers. All right, because of time now, the, facility, the vaccination is available uh, in the primary health centers across the state, across the 18 local government uh, areas. That's what Iponsa uh, is saying. Now, Iponsa, thank you so much because of thank time. Thank you very much. Because of time. I'm really pressed for time today. But uh, some of that time, I will bring you on so that uh, we can talk more on uh, this uh, vaccination. The program is still this morning on ITV. Please stay tuned. Please stay tuned.